What's up guys, Warbird here again, back with another episode of Hearts of Iron 4. Today we're going to look at the female leaders in Hearts of Iron 4, and uh, which countries have them. Uh, to this day, I have only found four female leaders in the game. Both Argentina and New Zealand have communist female leaders. And then, old Netherlands and Germany both have non-aligned female leaders. So first off, we're going to look at the two easier ones. They're going to be the communists. Uh, we'll look at Argentina first off, and this is a really simple one. Actually, let's just speed it up here quick. And uh, all you really have to do is go down to, or actually, sorry about that, political advisors, and you're gonna pick, where, where you? oh, there he is right there, Juan Domingo Perón. And uh, you're gonna get your communism support going, so we're just gonna wait till it gets 150, which will be really quick. We're just speeding it here. And uh, there you go. And you just gotta almost sit back and wait. I mean, you can go into the decisions and do the whole open up public disclosures, but uh, when I get to the spot where we can make her the leader, we'll get back into the gameplay. All right, guys, we're at 50% for the Communist Party of Argentina, and you can see it's just PC, whatever that, I don't even know what that stands for. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, but yeah. And then uh, we're just gonna go up here and down to communism on the rise. Just hold a national referendum. Communists de demand a referendum and lose some stability, but you get a cool little, yeah, Soviet star on your flag. And then uh, your new leader is gonna be Fanny Joukowsky. And that's your female leader for Argentina. That's probably the easiest, it's really simple. Also, you can up it quicker by going down the political effort and down the communism branch but that's the easiest female to get in the game for leaders and we'll be going on to new zealand next all right guys now we're on to new zealand and their communist leader who is a female and i don't even know what her name is really i don't really lz fairly yeah i never really played with new zealand so well you gotta start off with uh first labor government then you're gonna work your way down here to the statute of westminster and you're just gonna work your way down the uh communism tree here also you can start it by doing the political advisor but you do have to get the lee affair first so we'll be right back when we can bring her up with our re referendum all right guys we are at 51 percent for communist support here for new zealand and we're just going to go up to the top and hit the old national referendum and it passes with a bloody revolt and this is your female leader for New Zealand Elsie Farley yeah and uh, it's not that hard to get her actually all you gotta do is really get down to the Leah affair if you want to make it even simpler to get your because I believe you have to be you have to have autonomy for this yeah just have a Great Britain go down one of its paths so it gets rid of its dominions or colonies. Yeah. But yeah, that's a, another simple one. And uh, we'll be going on to the Netherlands now and show you how to get that female leader. Alright guys, we're here with Netherlands and we're going to show you how to get the Queen Wilhelmina. I don't even know how... I'm not even sure how to pronounce her name, but it's kind of simple to get her. It's forming a new government, gateway to Europe. You're going to work your way down to maintain new trade neutrality. And then, uh, Orang Boven? Yeah. And then you're just going to work down through a symbol of resistance and replace the defeatist government to get the only man in the Dutch government. Which is where Wilhelmnia becomes leader of the non aligned party. So, if there's any hiccups in the tree as I go down, I will bring you guys back into it, but I'll show you her when we get to her. Alrighty, guys, we got two days left on our focus here and we, it is for the only man in the Dutch government which uh, changes our leader from whatever this guy is Peter Ger, Ger, I can't pronounce it but to Wilhelmina uh, the non aligned party so uh, let's get this going and there you go look at that and we get kicked from our faction but faction but there you go that is your third leader I know so far and it's only man Dutch government. This one is a little bit more tricky than the other two. With the main new tr trade neutrality, you just have to make sure that uh, Germany and Great Britain are only five part points apart from each other in the trade wars. And then once they're right in there, you can already hit this. But they have to be over 50. Over 50 trade points. 
And then you just gotta work down a tree here. It's pretty simple. You don't have to go with Britain. I just did that for fun in my playthrough as I was going along, but you also have to be at war to bring this and then bring the only man in the Dutch government into play. So there is your female leader for the Netherlands. Now on to Germany. Alrighty guys, and the fourth female leader for this episode is gonna be Victoria of Germany. As you will work down the, I'm gonna bring it up here, sorry, the opposed Hitler and revive the Kaiserreich and return the Kaiser. And what you're gonna wanna do is focus, or actually, expatriate the communists, yeah. But you're gonna wanna accept British naval dominance and an alliance with, actually, I think you just gotta get to this. Yeah, we'll work down to that, but. There are a couple little hidden things here I will show you guys along the way. First off, we are going to oppose Hitler and start the Civil War. We'll play through the bit, I'll show you there's a extra bonus and decisions to make sure that the, actually, something quicker I always do when I start the Civil War is I just put, just put a fallback line, make sure all my troops get on that. So, there's that. There we go, perfect. We'll just add these guys too. Oh crap, I forgot some more over here. There we go. Make them all fall back. I do have a mod in here just right now so I can get it going faster. So we're just gonna put on full. But once the Civil War kicks off, come on now. There is a decision you can pick to make sure that the Hindenburg doesn't go down because the Hindenburg will be play a big factor in Victoria taking the throne. Let's see here. So I had to have a drink there, guys. It's parched. Oh, well, we don't need that, but I don't think it's in here yet. I think we gotta start war. This is taking forever. But, yeah, as I said, there's a couple of hidden things here and there to get Victoria. First off, do not focus on the true enemy. You have to be aligned with Britain. Pretty much what happens is the Hindenburg goes down with the whole royal family, except Victoria. You'll see why. And it's a whole tragedy. It's a tragedy for the whole thing. But this is part one of my field of leaders. I'm sure there's more that I don't even know about. But these are the big ones I found. The the first two I show you, I found on my own. And the second two I know from just national focuses and everything. But here we go. Alright, so I'll just get this all the way. All this crap. Up in here in decisions. Hopefully it's here already. Sharpen air safety regulations. Let me make sure that the Hindenburg does not go down. So we're going to click that one first off. All right. I'm going to play through the Civil War, and I'll bring you guys back for the next part of this uh, playthrough to get Victoria, okay? All right, guys. As now you can see here, the Hindenburg incident, the disaster was nearly averted today. This will lead up to our flight to the UK with our royal family, which you'll see will have uh, some effects that will bring Victoria into the fold. But... We will continue playing, I'll show you all in the next part. Alrighty guys, we have made it down through Secure the New State and Revive the Kaiserreich to Return of the Kaiser. Right now we have, what is this, M Mankinson, and they, we want to bring back Kaiser the Second. So, if that doesn't go through Wilhelm, not Kaiser the Second, Wilhelm the Second. If Wilhelm the Second cannot be returned because of the Netherlands, then we get Wilhelm the Third, which will make it even quicker than Victoria. So a little cheat you can do is, I already got rid of all my armies, and hopefully the Netherlands will not return the Kaiser. So we'll see what happens here. Hopefully we cross our fingers for this, but... Oh, oh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Prevents returns. Yes, we will not. We will keep Wilhelm the Third. Perfect. Okay. Now we will keep working our way down. You want to go through the next part of this. It's get rid of the communism. I believe what that word means. But then also we want to go down to accept British, British naval dominance. So when we get to that point, I'll bring you back in. All right, guys. As you can see now, we have joined the Allies. And we're going to set our difference inside, of course. But I forgot there's a one little part here you have to do. You have to do the Alliance with the Shade to get this to go, actually. And now, uh, yeah. So you want to pick reinstate Prince Wilhelm's right of succession, then modernize the succession rules. 
and request the restoration of their British titles. Then play it from there. And we'll have something pop up and I'll show you that. Oh, oh, here we go. Yes. This is what you want to send. It's a British government acceptance request. And you want to pick an excellent idea. We shall send a li liaison. That sends Victoria. Princess Victoria. Luis. And here in a matter of time, this should happen. Oh, here we go. Hindenburg of Flame in London. The Kaiser is dead. Long live the Kaiserine. As you can see, Victoria becomes the leader of the non-aligned party. She doesn't have very many... No, she has some nice bonuses to her. War support and defense on core territory. And let's see here. This is your new leader here, Victoria for the German Empire. Alright guys, that is our four leaders to the day. And uh, the hardest one is definitely going to be the Germans. You have to make sure you click on that air safety so you can keep the Hindenburg until the end and get all the way down here to the Alliance with the Shade. You know, the other one's a little bit tough, but the other two, Argentina and New Zealand, not tough at all. But this is part one of our female leaders of these game plays. And uh, if I find any more, I'll make a part two. But we'll see you guys in the next episode.